Hello? Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. So, uh, what's going on? We're just showing you deck lists and getting opinions and well, stuff if like you, that? Well, you can, you can, if you have any questions or anything, you, you can ask. I'm down for anything. I'm open. I got uh, Okay, I guess I'll throw up the list I've been playing since yeah. Arch. See. I threw it up in the stream waiting room chat. I think is yeah, that is that where I was supposed fine. to put it or Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Probably just gonna nuke it later, the everything in the chat. But for now it's fine. Oof. I still haven't get used to the new art uh, Alistair, so I don't recognize that at the beginning when I saw it. <laughs> yeah, I just prefer the gold rare. I have secrets, though, so I bounce between them. All right, so 45 is first thing. <laughs> Not a good thing to start with. Yeah, I realize that, but um, I've been playing Thunder for about 15 months straight now, and it, I've come to the realization that this is one of those decks where Putting, uh, keeping your list down to forty cards doesn't necessarily in, uh, increase consistency in the way you want it to. Is it? The de yeah, the the engine's just naturally bricky and it's very reliant on its normal summon. All right, so you you are those victims who open two two OG Thunder Dragons every time. Got it. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the worst feeling. Open double opening double dark double roar double OG Thunder is just uh yeah game two. Uh, let me see. Well, let me answer someone in chat first. Uh, let me see. Any advice on calming down and getting into the sofa? Well, that's actually a good question. If you want to really talk, you can hop in the waiting room. And uh, probably I, after I finish with whoever current, I can pull in and talk about that topic. Because that's something that's actually very good. If you cannot talk now, I'll probably like, get back to you. Just uh, remind me later after we're done with them. But that's Thunder, Thunder Invoke. Let me see. So, all right, it's time to get back. 45, six hand traps. Uh, let me see. So what's your usually um, starting with? Uh, starting with, I usually either open um, uh, Alistair access, either Chaos Space and the Lure of Darkness, and a Thunder to Dump. And uh, end boards are consistently. I've been bouncing around like two or three different versions. I've been subbing out the PK engine for a Dragoon package. I've also run uh, Pure with three Mechaba. Um, I usually end on if I'm running the PK package, I end on VFD Titan and Double Fog Blade with Bardish. Um, if I'm running uh, the Dragoon engine, it's usually Appaloosa. With three material, Titan, VFD, and Dragoon. Okay. So you're summoning Titan with uh, Anacon. Wait. Uh, no. Um, uh, no. If you notice, I have Invoker of Madness in there. Yeah. He's actually a really good... Uh, if I open a way to dump three Thunders into the grave and uh, open Fusion, um, I have Titan access... Uh, Alistair's just a really good engine for dumping resources in the graveyard for summoning multiple Mechaba. Let me see. Well, the the big issue for this stack, for, for Thunder as an engine in general, is like, you can consistently make in Titan, but how often do you have a, a thing to activate in your hand with Titan? Um, that's why I put the Matrixes back in. I was running, uh, yeah. Lord and, uh, Double Matrix were, uh, additions I've been bouncing back and forth between. Um, it's just been, been getting really annoying not being able to use Titan. Um, but he, he's a, he's a sticky body. He's really good for just, like, staying on the board and keeping a presence when they're trying to get rid of your other stuff. So it's very hard for your opponent to kill you even if they hit the VFD, even they if they manage to get through your negates. Plus, because of, um... Optimally, I'll end my turn after going into my end board. I'll end my turn with Thunder Dragon Fusion and Invocation in the Grave with a Banished Alistar. So I open my second turn by resolving Invocation, adding Alistar to my hand, 
banishing Thunder Dragon Fusion, usually searching Chaos Creator, and that allows me to usually press for game very easily. Just because I'm able to go into a Guidis, which pops a card. I'm able to go into Dengirsu, which sends a card. I'm able to go into Access Code Talker. Um, both engines are really recursive. So, yeah, um, that, that's true. It was, it, it was kind of a struggle last format just because Buster Welp made it. Uh, Buster yeah. Welp was just pretty much game, <laughs> go, go game two. It's very, I hated that because it was so annoying because, like, oh, Buster's not hard to deal with on its own. It's Buster being protected by like three or four negates and not being able to get Rev Buster in the first place. But because the format uh, slowed down and shifted to a grindier format, I was actually the, the deck is actually performing a lot better than it was last format just because it excels in those grind game scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, I was I've also been taking in Winter Cherries. Um, I occasionally do side Zeus, but um, because I main deck VFD and Mechaba, um, it's like Cherries is just a blowout card against VW and Dogmatica invoked and any invoked variant. Like uh, the last three locals I've played in. Um, every time I've resolved cherries to take away a Mechaba from a uh, Dogmatica player, they usually just scoop or they can't. They can't just outgrind me. Yeah, that that's true. That's true. Um, hmm. oh, I I didn't even recognize the cherries at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a that's a cheeky tech option I've been uh, testing since the beginning of the format. Um, I was main decking it at first, but if you just happen to run to a deck that doesn't run Zeus, doesn't run VFD, or doesn't run um, Mecha Bud, it's just kind of a dead card. It's like, I guess you could go like for hitting the Verte or something like that, or the Appaloosa, but it's it's better as a side card, this format. Yeah. I mean, you can hit Bardis if random matchup happens. Yeah, I've been I've been bouncing back and forth on the PK engine because it's very good going first. Backing monster negates up with more monster negates that are back row based. How it many, just makes it so you don't. Um, how many times do you need an extra monster by dumping cloak and summon boots? Um, I um, if I don't need the extra monster, I'll just dump boots to but get the second fog how, blade. Yeah, the thing is, how often you need the extra monster? Because like I also throw the engine in my dragons and never need to have the extra monster at that moment. So I it, it, completely cut the cloak. But yeah, I don't know how I, your lineup goes. Like, what are you going to summon with the boots after you make parties, right? The only realistic thing after that is probably what? Anaconda, that's it? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. If if I if I do end up grabbing boots for whatever reason, I yeah. usually have a way to put one more monster on the board alongside with it. That's mm -hmm. why I dropped Shade Brigadine, though, because Shade Brigadine can't be used for Verte because it's a uh, normal monster. Yeah, but... It's a monster. So how often you will even like dump cloak summon boots and link boots away into anaconda? Because I feel like um, cloak is something cuttable. I, I yeah, I would probably agree with you on that. Actually, if if I had to make a cut, it'd probably be boots uh, at this point. Because like I'm just, I'm just not sure what to cut it for. Uh, just drop it down to forty four. Aren't you supposed to go in multiples of five though? Because of uh, five card opening hand, uh, not necessarily. It's easier for calculations, but overall, any number between forty three to forty six usually doesn't matter that much anymore. It matters slightly. Okay. Like forty to forty two is like um sort of a range that's mathematically doesn't matter that much. Then start the next section is forty two to forty six. So if you just can't fit it under 42 or lower that you keep, like, doesn't matter how, how many you keep between 43 to 46. But ideally, you want to have, like, because Alistair deck, you still want to draw Alistair's, right? Oh, I guess I, I guess I could change the boots out for a terraforming just to make Alistair a bit more consistent. I was going to say that, too. Well, change cloak, not boots. Oh, cloak. Yeah, yeah. cloak. It's like... Uh, yeah, Terraforming is another one, but Terraforming, there's uh, some number of draws. Yeah, I guess it's fine for now. Yeah, it it, it does its job. This, uh, the only problem with this deck is it just hard dies to uh, Droll and Lancia. Yeah. Like, <laughs> unless I have a way of, unless I have a way of summoning, uh, like a Mechaba out of hand, or I open Invocation and three Thunder Dragons, like, you still just, you still just, just feel like, like, you still just feel like Mega a lot at that moment. Hey man, that's the format. Some sometimes you just get hit by those one card answers, and you just kind of gotta throw up your hands and be like, "Well, hope you don't OTK me." Wow, that's that's the downside for the because the 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 hand trap of the format is 
Connor your deck, even though you're not the best one, which sucks. Dude, I was so mad. So I like to make the joke since VW has popped into the format. It's like, oh, I was running VFD Turbo before it was cool. And then like we got to like the last format where everybody started siding Lancey and Droll. And I'm like, I actually hate playing the game right now. This is awful. This is exactly when you switch to a different deck, knowing it's not the time to play. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just I'm just super loyal to the deck. I I don't want to give it up, and I'm just trying uh, to keep it as competitive as possible. Well, it seems that you're having fun with it. That's good enough already. I mean, I'm getting my tops. If I if I had more free time, I'd be competing a lot more. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it seems pretty polished. Not gonna lie. I think my favorite. Like the the one thing that annoys me is it's just like I don't know how much back row removal and anti back row cards to side because Royal Decree I be, it's a, it's a tech option I've been using since last year uh, especially at the end of um October 2019 format when we were in something similar to this where it was really mid range people were running a lot of traps it was very relevant actually but it's it's just a slow card. It yeah. does pull double duty though, because if I side it in and I hard open it, I can always just pitch it with Mechaba to stop a trap activation on their end, but that only gets so much mileage, you know? Mm, let me see. See, if you're going first, right? Um, for example, again the back of decks. Uh actually let me think. Let me think. I think for you, it's probably better to just replace those decree with like, um, twin and the, probably the third lining star. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, because uh, you are playing a deck just similar to one last week where yeah, this card might actually help me help me doing something. Sometimes I need the discard to even do things. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, or you can just and- like. Take out a cloak and start playing terraforming, just move the duster in the main. And have like three lightning storm, three twin thruster in the side. That actually might not be a terrible idea. I do like that. Because uh decree, uh, like it's sort one, it's slow, second, it's just not like it's only staying on the board when you're going first, like Gandhi staying on the board board going first. If you really somehow want to have a Macava pitch trap, just search the fog blade and hold on it. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah. It's, 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 it's more... That's the most annoying thing about playing this game for like the past four or five months. It is so hard to side deck. Yeah. Because every deck does something a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like whenever you resolve Rusty, you already have one Fog Blade side. You can just search the second one and hold on. it. It's not that big difference against a Trap deck. They, they won't do much. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I did. I did have someone at locals rage quit on me because they tried to evenly match me, and I responded by flipping royal decree, <laughs> and he well, just scooped. Well, that, that's bad for him. Besides, that, I don't think there's uh, too many things because Book of Moon is good going first and second. Um, hand traps are enough. Back row hates are just slightly change and. Uh, Seems like your engine's also pretty packed, also at the most ideal number already, and nothing really can be changed. The only, the only other rel- relatively weaker car is, like, Foolish. That's it. Yeah, I, I do agree, but Foolish actually has come in clutch, because in hands where I open an invocation, but don't open any way to get to Alistair, I just dump Alistair and I'm able to full combo. Maybe this was the issue of 45, huh? Yeah. <laughs> But isn't that the same case where, because I don't see, I don't, like, you have to draw a very awkward hand to make uh, dumping a thunder card worth, right? You have to specifically open, like, white dragon what? or hawk to make foolish dumping roar or dark really do something. Yeah, it, it mostly comes so, up for dumping Alistair. So might as well just switch it to a terraform because that's your Alistair. That's true, that's true. That's actually a very good point. If you are majority, like, if majority of the time you are accessing Alistair by a foolish, why not just put Terraforming in? 
The only time that's... you lose to is you get drawled, but that that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. See, this is why I need other people to talk to because like I'm one of the uh, head admins in the Thunder Dragon Discord, oh. and I'm like the only one grinding at this deck. So it's wow. really annoying trying to get opinions and get help on it when nobody is interested in trying to like push it. Fair. So it's nice it's nice to get some extra insight on it. Yeah, besides that, like the core, it's uh it's like at the perfect number, honestly. I can't really say anything you sh you can or should change at all. Well, I guess that's a good thing, right? <laughs> I mean, it's also because maybe you already reached a cap you can get, which is a sad thing. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely feels like that. It's really frustrating because it's like... I mean, if you really I, want, there's some cool stuff you can try. It's like... Um, how often do you make Curious? Um, not as frequently as I would like, but it is good for unbreaking hands. Like, say I ha like it's good for getting, digging for extenders. It's good for setting up for next turn. If you it, really, it, if you want to be like slightly fun, you can take out the curious, throwing like what heavenly sphere maybe, and putting um, Brotor Levy. That actually might work. That's not a terrible idea. I actually like the sound of that. You have three chaos space. Well, you probably need a striker dragon at that moment. Or well, just figure out the ratios. Um, you have three chaos space. Chaos space most likely don't really get you too much, right? Because because the baby baby just the baby black and white just fill link link material. That's it. Yeah, the, but, the plays you yeah. see if, is uh, if you can make a sphere, it's like actually something. And sphere can get you Brotor. Brotor can get you a uh, Levy, and Levy is another target for Chaos Space. That's true. I've also um, played around with using Chaos Daedalus. The only issue is that card is only good if you have Meltdown on the field. When you have Meltdown on the field, it's fantastic because they can't target VFD, they can't target Titan, they can't target Mechaba, they literally can't target almost any of my extra deck monsters, but I need Meltdown. Yeah. And the free Banish is nice too, not gonna lie. Yeah. And uh, how often you search Chaos Creator? Uh, he is usually my go-to search target off of Thunder Dragon Fusion going uh, turn two. Dragon Fusion, cool. Because I was like, if you're always searching with Chaos Space, then it's the same by just cutting it for Lovely. But I guess it's fine. If you're searching yeah. for Thunder Dragon Fusion, then uh, I think it's fair to uh, keep it. Yeah, no. It, it, that card gets a crazy amount of mileage because I just use it to set up my turn two board. Mm -hmm. Uh summon a Guides, which is also a level 8, and just go straight into ding. Like I said, pop and then send. And you get rid of two cards, and then you can pretty much get off that. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much it, because I remember at the beginning of um, what was what? Last year, uh, October in OCG, when OCG just got Chaos Space, there was actually a similar Chaos on their list, which is just standard Thunder Dragon. Mixed with a small engine of space babies and occasionally, uh, Brotor, Brotor Levy. I got you. I'll definitely give that a try. Then that that that, that does sound like it could be possible. That, that, that does, yeah, no, that does sound like a good direction to take in because, yeah, curious, curious is nice when I am able to put it up and when it resolves and if they if they get rid of it, being able to grab any car out of my graveyard is obviously really nice, but uh. I'm 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 obviously trying to cut out yeah, but chaff same, and same I with want, like I want... foolish. Like you don't really have anything specifically good to mill. Yeah, pretty much. Like again, it's only good for dumping Alistair or dumping an extra thunder so I can make Titan. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, one of the guys in the chat uh said what about Scythlock? That's actually really funny. Um up until I made this list, I was playing Artifact Thunder, and it was doing really well. And then Eldritch hit the meta. And it just completely countered the deck. So I'm just like, well, that was fun while it lasted. Mm. Oh, that's another part of the format where you just, uh, you can maybe handle one side barely and you got completely destroyed by the other side. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, thank you, Shu. I appreciate the insight. That was very helpful. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. 